Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name's Ardil, and today's video is another sound off episode on the Audi R8 V10. Today's video, we're talking you through what you get from stock on the actual speaker configuration. We're gonna be weighing them against the Hertz Mini Legend range that we're actually putting into the car, and it's gonna be all detailed for you in today's video. If you are new to our channel and haven't seen us before, make sure you hit that subscribe button below because we've got that massive 10K competition live on our channel. The link for that is in the description below, so make sure you go check that out after today's video. However, this video is also highlighting as part of kind of the series four behind the sound, because there's a load of episodes live on this car already, which has loads of content from start to finish with a whole build that's going on. However, today's video is all about comparing the products that we got in the car from factory over what we're putting in. So just a brief overview on the actual products that we've got in front of us. This car came into us, so this is the generation two Audi R8 without Bang & Olsen. So what you get from the actual factory sound system in terms of speakers, you've got the head unit, and all you get is a tweeter and an eight inch driver in the door. You may have grills for your mid range. You may have grills for your rear speakers. They are not there. You do not have a factory amplifier. The signals go directly from a corrupted signal output from your head unit directly to these really, really poor quality speakers. And that is all you guys get. If you wanted to upgrade and tick that box on the Audi platform for Bang & Olsen, I just want to show you something very quickly before we go any further. This tweeter, this is in the non-Bang & Olsen upgrade. Okay, so we've got Generation 2 Audi R8, no Bang & Olsen, and that is the tweeter. However, when I spin that round, you have a very little B&O badge there. So why is that? Why is a manufacturer putting in a B&O speaker into a car that doesn't have B&O? Reason is, is because that is the exactly the same spec tweeter that you're getting when you press that upgrade button. When you're spending more money, you're getting the same thing. When you spend more money with someone like us, you are getting a better product. You're getting better equipment, and that's exactly what we're talking about today. So we're gonna do a little bit of measurements across these ranges, but the speed configuration, you had a tweeter and an eight inch driver. What we're upgrading that to is putting in a Hertz Miele Legend tweeter, Hertz Miele Legend three inch mid range, and then the mid base, which again is a Hertz Miele Legend range. So we're changing a two way set to a three-way set running what's called fully active. At the moment, there's no amplifier in the car. We're adding an amplifier to drive these and give loads more clarity at front end. But just as a product overview, you may have seen the previous video that we did on SoundOff, which actually goes through a Lamborghini Huracan Evo. That was a brand new 21 plate car that we did an upgrade on and we changed that over to Audison Thesis range. However, today's configuration is similar in terms of what came out of the Huracan. However, this speaker, the 8 inch driver, is actually a little bit bigger as a magnet than the actual Lamborghini Huracan that you got. So we're gonna be comparing all of these today. So let's weigh in the actual tweeter. So this is the Bang & Olsen tweeter that is also found in the non Bang & Olsen system on the Audi R8. So if we weigh that on there, that comes in at 59 grams. So if we then weigh that against the Hertz Miele Legend range, so this has a neodymium magnet built inside it. The performance of the actual frequency range that this is gonna be playing is really, really impressive. So if I weigh that on there, that comes in at 102 grams. So there is not only a weight difference, that's not only because that's made out of metal and that's made out of plastic, but also the frequency response, the cone design, the dome design that this has built into it to play that frequency is really, really impressive. The magnet size is a lot more impressive as well in terms of not only size, but also how this has been built. The car audio brands that are we're using in day-to-day -day systems like Audison and Hertz. These brands are specifically designed for car audio. The Bang & Olsen system from stock or any stock upgraded system, if you, list, if you look at all the names, they're all home hi-fi brands, they're not car audio brands. They've moved into the car audio market. However, these are specific car audio brands. Obviously on this factory system, that we could have because it's not Bang & Olsen, you don't have a mid-range in the car. So we're only gonna be weighing in this just for demonstration purposes. But what a mid-range actually does is it sits in line of the two-way front end. So you could have had on this system a replacement set which covers two, the new tweeters and the new drivers in the door and not had a mid-range. However, what a mid-range does is actually quite important 
what it does is it separates the sound across the vehicle and lets each one of these speakers play individually and separates that sound across the vehicle, giving you a far nicer and clearer sound stage on the vehicle. In our demonstrator car, Ford Mustang, I've actually got a three-way setup, but in the setup process, I can actually show you the difference it makes to add a mid-range into a vehicle. So if you want to come by, have a listen, just to see what just this small three inch speaker can actually achieve for you. Come by, see us and book an audio consultation. I'll go through everything. But this weighs in at, that's the Hertz Mini Legend, three inch at 225 grams there. Obviously we don't have anything to compare that to. However, this is gonna go all go in a stock location. You're not gonna see any of this once this is installed into the vehicle. So now let's weigh in the eight inch driver from the Audi system. So this is probably again, a very similar speaker that you're gonna be getting from the Bang & Olsen system because it's still a paper cone design. The performance of every single element of this is not brilliant. The, it's just it actually just feels cheap the plastic feels cheap and it's just overall a very very poor performing product like in the hurricane evo the similar product is actually exactly the same set as an audi a3 so if we weigh this in this has obviously got quite a lot of plastic on it uh, which obviously adds to the weight but that comes in at 656 grams on the 8 inch driver. So we're going to weigh this in now. This is the Hertz Mio Legend 6.5 inch driver. That comes in at 1.33 kgs again all of the hertz range here that we're using in the hertz Miller legend range have the neodymium magnet the cone design is very very similar on the three inch as well as the six and a half inch driver the rollover cone the excursion and mid base that this is going to perform even if it is a six and a half inch driver over an eight inch driver the quality of the actual unit is going to well well outweigh the performance of this paper cone design speaker we're actually moving down in size to a six and a half inch driver. Reason is, is because the aftermarket systems can actually be moved from car to car. So this configuration of a three-way front end is actually very, very versatile in terms of moving to many, many other cars. And it's important that we look at that because you're investing in product. So when you invest in that Bang & Olsen spec on the factory up where when you click that button for however much it is, what you actually are paying for is something you are losing. And also, as you know, isn't really worth anything. And what you're actually getting when you buy an aftermarket set is you can actually move this from car to car. So once this car's done, say in two, three years, or whenever the customer decides to sell the car, we can actually remove the whole system, revert it all back to stock, put this stuff back in, next owner has that issue, and then you retain the actual products itself. And you can move them from car to car. These products last literally your entire lifetime. We are also adding in an amplifier to run this system. And that's very important as well, that these sets of speakers can't run off your factory equipment in terms of your factory radio. Firstly, because it's distorted signal. It's the waves and curves inside and outputting all the kind of bad food, if you would, outputting from your factory radio just will destroy speakers and over time cause distortion, cause bad, cl bad clarity from a system as well, cause loads of phase cancellation, all sorts of issues occur on factory systems. We're adding in a processor and an amplifier to actually control that system, but there's a full behind the sound episode gonna be live on all of that, plus the tuning stage, which you might find useful if you are interested in knowing a little bit more about how a setup and actually the issues that a factory radio or factory system actually happens all in the background without you guys seeing it. So thank you very much for watching guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed another sound off video. Thank you very much for watching. And remember guys, we've got that massive 10K subscriber competition live on our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon.